seven down a back road Where the white river runs and the southern sun makes a good new At American Safeguard Insurance, you get an actual human being just down the street to get advice on the confusing world of insurance. There's no need to shop around every time your insurance company tries to raise rates. You can relax and let us do it for you. Having a choice is a big deal, and when insurance companies compete, you save money. One of the most important benefits is we actually monitor your premium for rate increases. If we notice a rate increase, we reshop your premium to ensure the best rate. And when the time comes to use your insurance, and we hope it doesn't. You have a friend to help guide you during one of the most stressful times of your life. All your needs under one roof, from vehicle to life insurance, and everything in between. We protect it all. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs, the lake area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysCBG.com where you can pick out your vehicle Get an appraisal, pre-approval, and even purchase from your living room. Every new vehicle purchased comes with a complimentary 7-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and we deliver anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboys Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy has been serving the Greer's Ferry Lake area since 1976. They are located on the back side of the Court Square in downtown Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy offers private consultations, Medicare enrollment, and immunizations for pneumonia, flu, COVID, shingles, tetanus, and more. They also test and treat strep and flu. Their staff is committed to providing fast and friendly service. Stop by today to see why Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy is Greer's Ferry Lake's number one independent pharmacy. F.L. Davis is more than just a hardware store with six locations to serve you in Heber Springs, Greer's Ferry, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, and Centerton. They are your one-stop shop for hardware and home improvement. They are also the home of the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, baby items, home decor, and kitchen items. Whether you're building a new home, improving your old one, or needing a gift for yourself or someone else, stop by one of their locations and experience all that they have to offer. Nobody has sold more Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram vehicles than the Landers family. If you're looking for a hassle-free, stress-free buying experience, then Cowboy Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, and Clint is your place to shop. We've got all the trucks you're looking for with brand new V8 Ram trucks starting at just $29,988. If there's a job to be done, we've got the truck for it. Ram 2500, 3500, gas or diesel, crew cab, mega cab, or cabin chassis, we've got all the trucks. Nobody will beat a cowboy deal on your next Jeep with up to $5,000 off or an available 0% interest. Shop us today. Jeep Gladiator, Wrangler, Grand Cherokee, Wagoneer. It's all in stock and ready to deliver. If you want to pay too much, buy somewhere else. If you want the car deal you've always waited for, Cowboy Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Clinton is your place to shop. 
It's quick and easy. Jump online at CowboysCDJR.com or give us a call at 501-745-5333. Cowboy up or you'll pay too much. I can make your hands clap. Said I can make your hands clap. Every night when the stars come out. Am I the only living soul around? Need to believe you could hold me down. Cause I'm in need of something good right now. Ivy Physical Therapy in Hamber Springs is a proud supporter of the Lake Area Athletes. If you or your student athlete are looking to get back in shape or for therapy after an injury, give Ivy Physical Therapy a call at 501-362-8118 or visit ivyphysicaltherapy.com. Trust, they specialize in the insulation and creation of custom wood trusses for your home or business. Nap Trust utilizes only premier lumber to ensure our products last. When you come to Nap Trust, you will have the peace of mind knowing you're receiving the best quality construction for the best price in the area. Nap Trust staff members have years in the industry and know what it takes to install a quality trust from the start finish. Call Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 today. What do you do with your Ram truck? Are you pulling a trailer, pulling a boat to the lake to enjoy some time with your family, or are you enjoying nature and taking your Ram off-road? Whatever you're doing with your Ram, Red River Dodge of Heber Springs has the Ram for you. And you know what they say, you can't believe everything you see on the internet. And that's true right now. Not every new Ram truck that we have is showing up online. Go to our website at redriverdodge.com and let us get what you want right to your front doorstep. Or make that beautiful drive to Heber Springs during Ram Power Day. Good afternoon and welcome to the Triple A Digital Network Compliments of Lake Area Sports. I'm Richard Sharp broadcasting to you live from Harding Academy as they're playing host here to the Class 3A State Volleyball Tournament. This is the second game of the day today between 
the Hackett Lady Hornets and the Episcopal Lady Wildcats. Quarterfinal action on this Wednesday afternoon from Searcy as we're about to get underway in about three minutes. Warm-ups still taking place. As looking at the first game of the day, Hoxie knocked off Atkins three sets to one after falling in the first set, 25 to 12. Atkins went up 1-0 in the series. Hoxie battled it out in the next three and were victorious, looking like an entirely different team on the floor. They won the final three sets, 25 to 22, 25 to 21, and 25 to 22. And they move on to the semifinal round set for tomorrow. And they await their opponent, which will be the winner of this game between a pack, a Hackett and Episcopal. Other scores to pass to you from around the state at Class 2A State at Mansfield. Thaden, based out of Bentonville, took down St. Joseph three sets to zero to move to the semifinal round. And of course, right here from 3A, I just mentioned Hoxie defeats Atkins. Westside Jonesboro, they defeat Fountain Lake three sets to zero and move to the semifinal round in the Class 4A state bracket at Brooklyn. At Greenbrier, Class 5A, Benton knocks off Marion three sets to zero. They await the winner of Little Rock Christian and Van Buren. And Class 6A at Heritage, Conway, the Lady Wampus Cats, take down Bentonville three sets to zero. A clean sweep in all 12 o'clock games except for the one we had here. It went four sets. The rest were three. Conway moves into the final four, into the semifinals tomorrow. So classes 2A through 6A, one game down, three to go at each state tournament around the state. Appreciate everyone tuning in here for this one. Should be a good one. Hackett, the one seed out of the 3A West for Episcopal. They're the two seed out of the 3A Central. I'll pull up the bracket here for you. Hadn't been able to do that all tournament, as you see there at the top of the bracket. We've got the game that took place earlier between Atkins and Hoxie, which was won by Hoxie. And we got Hackett versus Episcopal in just a few moments. At 4 o'clock, Baptist Prep and Paris will take the floor. Should be another good one. And another great matchup as well at 6 o'clock. Prime time here from Searcy. The host of this tournament, Harding Academy, will battle Crowley's Ridge Academy. And we'll be here to bring you all the action on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports. We'll have the National Anthem. Pledge of Allegiance, moment of silence, a prayer, and then both teams will be introduced, their entire rosters, then we'll have starting lineups. Hackett, they'll come in with a record of 26-1, and one, Episcopal with a 19-4 and four mark. And here come the pregame ceremony.
All right, there are your starting lineups for Episcopal. They're coached by Paige Gantar, assistant coach Rachel Fisher. Number two, Maggie Ransdell, a sophomore. The libero, number nine, Ellis Glover, a freshman. Number 10, Laney Marsh, a freshman. Number 12, Cindy Sanders, a freshman. Number 13, Riley Brady, a senior. Number 15, Emma Schnackenberg, a freshman. And number 17, Jules Johnson, a freshman. Super young lineup here for the Lady Wildcats. For Hackett, the libero, number two, Lily Oxford, a sophomore. Number four, Tiana Best, a senior. Number five, Kylie Hill, a senior. Number 15, Prairie Vaughn, a junior. Number 20, Alana Rothwell, a junior. Number 22, Mackenzie Freeman, a sophomore. And Mackenzie Mendenhall, number 23, a senior. There are your starting lineups. We're about to get underway. Game two action. About to get started here from Searcy, Harding Academy, the host of this 3A state volleyball tournament. Winner of this game will advance to take on Hoxie tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Hoxie victorious in game one over Atkins, 3-1. to one. And it looks like Episcopal Collegiate will serve first. And we are underway. Number 17, Jules Johnson with a serve. She'll get the hit right there. Oh, <laughs> just barely able to get it over. Riley Brady for Episcopal. And Johnson nearly getting it down for the kill. And it's going to be deflected off of Episcopal, and Hackett strikes first. And a quick substitution as McKaylin Freeman will check in for Kylie Hill. One to zero, our score. Make it one one. As the serve, I believe that was number 15 with the serve, Prairie Vaughn. It comes up short. One one here in this opening set. We just got underway moments ago. Huge kill! Wow, the power from Freeman. Only, only a freshman. Incredible. She has great height, great size for a ninth grader. As for Episcopal, they are loaded with freshmen. I counted eight freshmen on the roster. They make up the majority of the team. A couple of sophomores, three seniors, four seniors, and one junior for Lady Wildcats for Hackett. Seven sophomores, one freshman in Freeman. Four seniors, six juniors. So kind of a mixed uh, range of ages there for Hackett. As for Episcopal, playing in the second round here and extremely young bunch. And they trail three to two to Hackett. And that one doesn't get over the net. They give the point to the Lady Hornets. And they lead it four to two. Rothwell will have the honors of serving here for the home team on the scoreboard. Hackett took care of business in that 3A West Conference coming out as the one seed. And they get another point. Must be exciting as a ninth grader to play here in the second round of the state tournament, or if you're Episcopal, if you are indeed a freshman on this roster, it must be exciting to, to have the majority of your team be so young. The future is indeed looking bright at Episcopal there in Little Rock. This is where the school is located. As Hackett now leading by four. 
They are more of a seasoned bunch, even though they're led by mainly sophomores as far as the roster size is concerned. They have more sophomores than any other class. Now it's seven to two. Hackett coming in with one loss on the campaign. Just one loss, 26 wins, incredible record. And give it up to Episcopal as well. They're 19 and four. Those records on your screen there are before e either team played yesterday. And we're gonna have a timeout as Hackett leads it eight to two here in first in the first set. We'll be back on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports after the break. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboys Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs, the Lake Area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysCBG.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal, pre-approval, and even purchase from your living room. Every new vehicle purchased comes with a complimentary 7-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and we deliver anywhere in the state. The service And we're back out of the timeout, taken by Episcopal, looking at the All-State selections for this season. Episcopal hauled in two of those honors as Riley Brady and Jules Johnson were both selected out of the Central Conference in Class 3A. Is There's a point for the Lady Wildcats coming out of the timeout. As for Hackett, they had three selections. Mackenzie Freeman, Mackenzie Mendenhall, and Prairie Vaughn. Three selections, so a total of five starters on the floor here combined that were selected as All-State selections. Congrats to all those ladies hauling in those honors for their school. Nine to three, our score. Serving now for Hackett will be number five, Kylie Hill. Serve on the way. It's dug there by Episcopal and another tally on the scoreboard. To break into double digits, Hackett. 10 to three now. Oh, nice block there. It's returned, though. As that one will not be returned, it's deflected off Episcopal. And I believe the point will go to McKenzie Freeman. Oh, wow. Trying to keep it alive there was Mendenhall, the All-Stater. And instead it'll be deflected off her out of bounds. Episcopal back on the board. They trail by seven, 11 to four. And it gets down for a kill. That's number four for Hackett. Tiana Best, a senior. Strikes there. Gets it down on the left side. Yeah. Trying to keep it alive was the libero. Lily Oxford for Lady Hornets. She's unsuccessful. Volleyball lands near the Hackett bench and another point goes to the Lady Wildcats. But just like that, Hackett strikes back, continues their onslaught with a point there. Oxford to serve. And it gets down. They're going to give the point to Episcopal. Point to Brady as the Hackett faithful disagree. I believe they thought it was out of bounds, but it stays inbounds. And that one just barely grazes the net on the serve. 
And just getting it over for the kill. No, they're going to give the point to Hackett. My apologies. That was a good effort there by Brady getting it over the net. But I believe there's some. There was an infraction or touching of the net possibly there for Episcopal. So it's a 14 to 6 game. 15 to 6 now. Hackett is attacked early and often in this first set. As you know, a team that only has one loss over the course of the season is going to be solid and one that is going to contend for that state crown. And now leading it by 10. We'll have another timeout taken by Episcopal Collegiate. We'll be back here on the AAA Digital Network. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy has been serving the Greer's Ferry Lake area since 1976. They are located on the back side of the Court Square in downtown Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy offers private consultations, Medicare enrollment, and immunizations for pneumonia, flu, COVID, shingles. And we are back out of the timeout. Hackett leads Episcopal Collegiate 16-6 in the opening set of this quarterfinal matchup of the Class 3A State Volleyball Tournament live from Harding Academy here in Searcy, Arkansas. And the kill attempt from Riley Brady falls short for Episcopal. Hackett makes it 17-6 now. Oh, what a kill there. Just trying to get it up and over the net. It goes down for Prairie Vaughn. She gets the ball down on the floor. As Hackett has looked like a well-oiled machine here from the jump. 18-6 lead. Episcopal going to need to find a, a run here. But it's going to be tough to do as there's... Mikaelin Freeman, the freshman. My goodness, only a freshman, and she can hit the ball hard. A lot of great size and strength for her. It's only a ninth grader. Here she is again. Johnson was there to contend. And that one's going to get down for another point. Alana Rothwell, the junior. Makes it 20 to six. Five points away now. Are the Lady Hornets from taking the first set? Make it four points away. Rothwell, back to back points for her. Nice block. Poetry in motion. Makes it happen. There's Freeman. Hackett scores again. Vaughn with the serve. Goes into the backcourt. And the point will be awarded to Hackett as not much could be done with that as Nearly interfered with the scoreboard there where the ball ended up being placed. And who else but Rothwell calmly gets it over the net and finds the opening for the point. 24 to six, Hackett a point away from a set one victory. And they will not get it there. My apologies to jump the gun as 
Episcopal stays alive with the point there. Last deflected off of Hackett. Serving now is Ellis Glover, the libero for Episcopal. Oh my goodness, that one hit the light up there. The light is shaking and moving up there. Hopefully, hopefully it's nothing too serious. As you'll have that. Sometimes you'll you'll have some interference there with the, the lights. As that one goes to hack at the point. Wow. Stays in. And I think Freeman. Absorbed the point there, 25 to seven, or excuse me, 25 to eight is your final for the first set. Hackett leads it, one set win to zero over Episcopal. We'll bring you the second set here on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Air Sports in just a bit. Davis is more than just a hardware store with six locations to serve you in Heber Springs, Greer's Ferry, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, and Centerton. They are your one-stop shop for hardware and home improvement. They are also the home of the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, baby items, home decor, and kitchen items. Whether you're building a new home, improving your old one, or needing a gift for yourself or someone else, stop by one of their locations and experience all that they have to offer. Nobody has sold more Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram vehicles than the Landers family. If you're looking for a hassle-free, stress-free buying experience, then Cowboy Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, and Clint is your place to shop. We've got all the trucks you're looking for with brand new V8 Ram trucks starting at just $29,988. If there's a job to be done, we've got the truck for it. Ram 2500, 3500, gas or diesel, crew cab, mega cab, or cabin chassis, we've got all the trucks. Nobody will beat a cowboy deal on your next Jeep with up to $5,000 off or an available 0% interest. Shop us today. Jeep Gladiator, Wrangler, Grand Cherokee, Wagoneer. It's all in stock and ready to deliver. If you want to pay too much, buy somewhere else. If you want the car deal you've always waited for, Cowboy Chrysler. And we're back here as... Hackett won the first set 25 to eight and we're about to get the second set underway. We hope you've enjoyed our commercials here from our great sponsors. We could, would not be here without them. And of course we wanna thank the Arkansas Activity Association for allowing us to cover this class 3A state volleyball tournament We appreciate their consideration of us. As we were live from Rosebud as well as here at Harding Academy, first round action was split. These two teams did play at Rambler Arena. As Hackett will pick right back up where they left off in the first set with a point there. Out of bounds, the hit goes from Riley Brady of Episcopal. And that one will get over the net smoothly on the hit from Johnson and nearly a kill there 
from freshman or from the freshman Freeman. As Lady Hornets will get the point. Nice series here between these two. Trying to go for the big hit there was the freshman Freeman, and it hits the net and stays on the side of Hackett. And Lady Wildcats will have their first score here in the second set as the serve from Johnson falls short. And quickly a point is awarded to Hackett. Oh, what a block there. In on the block, Freeman as well as Rothwell. Let me tell you, Hackett is blessed with height. These girls, as well as uh, Mendenhall, these girls have a lot of length, a lot of height on this roster. And they're starting six or is as, as well as Larry Libero, Oxford is as good as anyone in this tournament. I guarantee you that. They are solid all around. And that one stays in. No, it does not. It's out of bounds, they say. Point to Episcopal. Episcopal, a school that has seen much success across multiple sports, a couple of state championships in eight-man football. Of course, in the early 2010s, they had some state titles in boys' basketball, and here they are in volleyball, seeing success in another sport. The private school there in Little Rock. And that one gets down for a point, courtesy of Rothwell. Serving now is Rothwell. Here it comes. And Hackett unable to get the ball across. Freeman, her attempt hits the net as well as substitution. Dylan Smith, the senior, comes in for Schnackenberg, the freshman for Episcopal. Nice play there. Getting it over was the Lady Wildcats. And out of bounds it goes. Marsh, another ninth grader here. In on the hit, that went out of bounds. But Lady Wildcats get a point themselves. Cut it to two. Oh, wow, what a shot there from Freeman. As that one's going to get down. Nobody there to cover it for Hackett. They all watch it as it sailed up to the ceiling, dropped back down, and to the floor it went. Now it's a one-point deficit for Episcopal Collegiate. And it is the last touch of them out of bounds. Another good back and forth here between these two squads. 
And a kill. A kill there for... Trying to see her number there. Number... Still can't see it. Kill for number four, Tiana Best. It's 10 to six now. Lead doubles from two to four quickly. For the Lady Hornets. Getting it across there was Marsh. Nice block by the Lady Wildcats. And unable to chase it down in time and make a play. Hackett tacks on another one onto the scoreboard. Hackett was victorious yesterday against Salem. Asked for Episcopal. They defeated Piggott to get to this quarterfinal round. Timeout taken as it's not 1 to 6, 12 to 6. Sorry, I must have hit a button wrong there. There is your set two score thus far 12 to 6. Hackett leads it here on the AAA Digital Network. We'll be back here after this message. At NAP Trust, they specialize in insulation and creation of custom wood trusses for your home or business. NAP Trust utilizes only premier lumber to ensure our products last. When you come to NAP Trust, you will have the peace of mind knowing you're receiving the best quality construction for the best price in the area. NAP Trust staff members have years in the industry and know what it takes to install a quality trust from the start to finish. Call NAP Trust at 870-948. And we're back out of the timeout. 12 to six lead for Hackett over Episcopal Collegiate. And getting the kill there is Sydney Sanders, the ninth grader for the Lady Wildcats. He comes through with the first point out of the timeout. Much needed point here. Oh, a little miscommunication there. As Ransdell, sophomore starter here for Episcopal. Ricocheted off her. Oxford to Libero with the serve. Goes out of bounds. Episcopal takes back over. Oh, what a pretty play there from Mendenhall. The All-State selection comes through with a point. Soft touch over the net. As Freeman, the tall freshman, comes back in for Hackett. Episcopal cutting their deficit down to five. Oxford to Freeman, just checked in moments ago. Point awarded to the Lady Hornets. It stays in bounds. Coming through the kill is Freeman. Love to see these younger girls show up and show out here in this state tournament. Girls like Freeman as well as Sanders for Episcopal and Lady Wildcats, as I mentioned earlier, full of freshmen on their team.
Nice hard hit there from Brady. The Lady Wildcats now they find themselves in double digits on the scoreboard and trail by six. Serving will be Ransdale from the left side. She'll work it left to right. Nice hit from Freeman for a Hackett. Is that one will not get over the net for Episcopal. As a score update out of 5A volleyball. Van Buren wins set one over to Little Rock Christian, 25 to 22, and lead the series one to zero. Courtesy of the AAA scoreboard on Twitter, it's received an update. I believe I've seen a score for Class 2A state tournament. Seventeen to eleven here, Cersei. So we're on the campus of Harding Academy, just about a minute or two away from the campus of Harding University here in Cersei. Like the two campuses are connected, which I mean would make perfect sense. Home of the Bisons and home of the Wildcats here. There's a great point. Comes through. For Marsh, Laney Marsh, the ninth grader. Score update out of the 2A state volleyball tournament. Mansfield wins the second set over Quitman, 25 to 10, and they lead it two to zero. In set wins, they were victorious in the first set, 25 to nine. 6A state, Southside. Takes down Little Rock Central in the first set, 25 to 15. They lead it one to zero. Oh, trying to go for the dig was Oxford, and Lady Wildcats will score off the serve. Freeman will check back in. She replaces, I believe that was Lexi Gann, number 17. It looked like that hit just barely got over the net, but it did, and down for a point it goes. 19 to 14 now. Nice save there by Kylie Hill for Hackett. Oh, unable to get it across was Johnson just a bit short on the try. As Hackett has moved within five of picking up a second set win. Episcopal is going to have to rally back. But it's going to be tough to do that when you have to deal with a serve like that that hits the wall and goes out of bounds to make it 21-14. Another timeout taken. We'll take it with them here. And be right back on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports.
Butler back out of the timeout as Hackett leads Episcopal Collegiate 21 to 14. Here from Searcy. And the block is going to be successful for the Lady Wildcats. Cutting the deficit down to six, 21 to 15. Here's the serve from Sanders. And the point to the Lady Hornets, courtesy of Tiana Best. Nice shot from her. This is a solid Lady Hornet team here. Sometimes you have a case of tell me your record and I'll tell you how good you are. And with a 26-1 and one record, that's nothing to poke a stick at. Episcopal Collegiate, give them credit, though, for as young as they are. They, they have hung around here in this second set. They've made it interesting. And they have a good record themselves, 19-4, and four, nearly 20 wins on the season. That, that is incredibly difficult to do at any classification, 2 through 6A, to win 20 games. Looks like they, got, they were the runner-up out of the Central for Hackett. They were winners of the West. This is a one and two seed matchup, just like what we had in game one between Adkins and Hoxie. Twenty-three sixteen, actually twenty-four sixteen now. A couple quick ones in the blink of an eye for Hackett. And here's the set point. And they get it. Big kill. Alana Rothwell, the junior, and Hackett goes up. Two games to none on Episcopal Collegiate. One went away from advancing to the semifinal round. One set went away, I should say. And the winner of this game again will take on Hoxie. They're victorious over Atkins. Three sets to one. We'll bring you the third set here from Harding Academy on the AAA Digital Network in just a few moments. Ivy Physical Therapy in Hamber Springs is a proud supporter of the Lake Area Athletes. If you or your student athlete are looking to get back in shape or for therapy after an injury, give Ivy Physical Therapy a call at 501-362-8118 or visit ivyphysicaltherapy.com. Trust, they specialize in the insulation and creation of custom wood trusses for your home or business. Nap Trust utilizes only premier lumber to ensure our products last. When you come to Nap Trust, you will have the peace of mind knowing you're receiving the best quality construction for the best price in the area. Nap Trust staff members have years in the industry and know what it takes to install a quality trust from the start finish. Call Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 today. What do you do with your Ram truck? Are you pulling a trailer, pulling a boat to the lake to enjoy some time with your family, or are you enjoying nature and taking your Ram off-road? Whatever you're doing with your Ram, Red River Dodge of Heber Springs has the Ram for you. And you know what they say, you can't believe everything you see on the internet. And that's true right now. Not every new Ram truck that we have is showing up online. Go to our website at redriverdodge.com and let us get what you want right to your front doorstep. Or make that beautiful drive to Heber Springs during Ram Power Day.
And we're back here. Set to begin set three as Hackett took the second one to go up 2-0. They took the second one 25-16. They were victorious in set one 25-8. Lady Hornets are one set win away from setting up a semifinal matchup with Hoxie. That would be the first of two semifinal games here tomorrow from Harding Academy as they've been great hosts of this Class 3A state volleyball tournament. We'll have our first semifinal match set after this game concludes. A winner of that game tomorrow, as well as the other semifinal game at 3 o'clock, will punch their ticket to the state championship game Saturday afternoon in Hot Springs at Bank OZK Arena. That game is set for 1 o'clock on Saturday as they will have the finals all in one day. Classes 2 through 6A. One champion will be crowned. as it's a quick 2-0 lead for Hackett. Served there by Vaughn. And unable to get to it was Johnson for Episcopal. This is going to be a dangerous Lady Wildcat team to look for in the future. For as many freshmen as they have, they're getting good experience playing this late into the season. One of eight teams remaining in Class 3A. And that stays in, a kill from Freeman. Getting good experience as well. Another ninth grader out on the floor. Oh, what a save there on the dig from Johnson. It's just getting it over the net and finding an opening is Rothwell. Five to zero. Hackett on top here in the fourth set, or third set, excuse me. Ooh, that one just barely got over the net, just nipped the top of the net. As Freeman comes up short on the kill try. Hits the net. And Episcopal will have it now. Set to serve is Ransdell. Here it is. Sometimes you just got to break the ice, as they say in here for Episcopal, as they get their first point moments ago, but they give one up there, give one back to hack it. They just needed to get something going and they need to get the flame lit and there's another point. A kill from Riley Brady. Brady will now serve. Lady Wildcat season comes down to this set as Brady getting the kill moments ago was unable to get that one across. Seven to two, Lady Hornets with the advantage. As I just mentioned, Episcopal, their Episcopal Collegiate, their season comes down to this set. They have to win it to force a set, a fourth set. As out out of all the twelve o'clock games played, the six twelve o'clock games. Played here today across the state, two through six A. Or the five, I should say, not six. The five have played. This was the side of the only matchup that's went four. And that was, of course, won by Hoxie, three to one. The rest were sweeps, clean 3-0 sweeps. We've seen a little bit of everything 
here through these first two days. And we're not even halfway through this first day yet. Day and a half, I guess you should you could say. And a kill for Best. Best has had a good game. The front line, just solid overall for Hackett. He's had a good performance. That made it nine to three. And on the third hit, Episcopal gets it across. And they're unable to return that one. 10 to three, the score. And a timeout will be taken by Coach Gantar for Episcopal. Let's take it with him. We'll be back here to bring you the rest of this third set between Hackett and Episcopal on the AAA Digital Network, courtesy of Lake Area Sports. Took a little bit about a hundred and seven down a back road Where the wide river runs and the southern sun makes a good to go The what I found in the Ozark Mountains I ain't ever seen It sure does feel like it's sitting on top of the world to me Gotta get down, gotta get down to Arkansas At American Safeguard Insurance, you get an actual human being just down the street to get advice on the confusing world of insurance. Back here from Cersei, out of the timeout. Class 3A state tournament quarterfinals. In action here on this Wednesday afternoon from White County. As Hackett will be the first team to score out of the timeout here. And they're awarded another point. Oh, wow. What a save. They get it across on the third hit. Hackett does. Getting it across is Freeman, the sophomore. Here she is again, and ball falls to the floor. Lexi Gann trying to make a play on it. Let's see if I can find any more scores. To pass along, I believe I seen one a while ago, is 2A State Volleyball. Mansfield wins the third set over Quitman and wins the match. They won that third set 25-13. to 13. One set won 25-9, set two 25-10, and set three 25-13. So Mansfield moves on to the semifinal round of that Class 2A State Tournament as they're playing host to it this week. Also, Southside, they win the second set over Little Rock Central 25 to 18 and lead the match two to nothing. Little Rock Christian Academy takes set two, 25 to 13 over Van Buren. It's an even one, one tie in that one. And that's all I have for you at the moment. I'll be sure and stay, keep you up to date with scores from around the state throughout the course of the day. Thirteen to five. Episcopal will need a big run here in this third set to keep their season alive. They're going to rely on the youth of this team. As they started, I believe, four sophomores in this one, or four freshmen in one sophomore. 
And Libero was a freshman as well. So you're looking at five starters there that are all going to come back for three more years. That is – that's incredible. You don't see that very often in any sport, basketball, uh, to see a team make it this – make a run like they have as it's going to be 15 to 5 10 point advantage for Hackett another timeout taken we'll be back in a few moments here's a word from another sponsor FL Davis is more than just a hardware store with six locations to serve you in Heber Springs, Greer's Ferry Sherwood Pea Ridge, Fayetteville and Centerton they are your one-stop shop for hardware and home improvement. They are also the home of the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, baby items, home decor, and kitchen items. Whether you're building a new home, improving your old one, or needing a gift for yourself or someone else, stop by one of their locations and Back out of the timeout. 15 to 5, Hackett leads Episcopal Collegiate. Lady Wildcats in need of a point, and they're not going to get it. Is that hard hit from Brady? Sells out of bounds behind Hackett. So they increase their lead to 11. Oxford kept it alive there for the Lady Hornets. And she keeps it alive there on the dig. Episcopal needing to get across on the third hit, and they do. And they give the point to the Lady Wildcats, a much-needed one. Well, that one nearly out of the reach of Gann. She's able to hoist it in the air. As there's a deflection off the hand of Mendenhall. Back on the board go the Lady Wildcats. They're back within single digits. Skying up there on that one was, well, now back-to-back -back hits. As they give another point to Hackett, or Hackett does earn it, of course. And they go back up by double digits. And the kill for Mendenhall makes it 18-7. And there's a clean kill there for number 13, Riley Brady. Good back and forth series here is the kill. Another one to McKaylin Freeman. Six points away are the Lady Hornets from their 27th victory and a spot in the semifinals tomorrow. Good awareness there. Keep it alive by Mendenhall. Now five points away are the t home team on the scoreboard. 20 to eight.
Serving it there is Mendenhall. Good block there right at the net by Freeman. He's coming in to hoist it in there. It was Oxford. There's the 21st point in this third set for Hackett. They're looking to put the finishing touches on this contest. And Episcopal gets it across on the third hit. That was Schnackenberg. Oh, wow. Able to keep it alive is the Lady Wildcats. Good dig. Wow. What a series of events here. That was a huge point for the Lady Wildcats. Who still trail by 12. Substitution. As Dylan Smith will check in for Schnackenberg. A freshman coming in for a freshman. He'll, we've had that a lot in this game. Just such a young, super young Lady Wildcat bunch. Can't say it enough. Rothwell will take her turn with the serve now. And here she is. They set it up and scoring. With the point is Freeman, 23 to nine. Lady Hornets need two points. And they're going to get it. They're going to get one point, that is. They're 24th. As Lady Wildcats fail to get it across. And here it is. This could be the set point in the match point. Right here it is. The Hackett Lady Hornets move on to the semifinal round tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. They'll battle with Hoxie after they sweep. The Lady Wildcats of Episcopal Collegiate, three games to none here. Congratulations to the Lady Hornets. What a display from them today. It was all Hackett from the jump here in this quarterfinal matchup. They're victorious in the first set, 25-8. to eight. Followed it up with a 25-16 to 16 win to go up two games to none. And... They top it off here and put it away with a 25 to nine victory in the third set. Congratulations again to the Lady Hornets. They are 27 and one now on the season. And phenomenal record for the Lady Wildcats. They'll finish their campaign with a 19 and five mark and do not count that program out for the years to come. As I counted, seven Eight freshmen, eight ninth graders for Episcopal, and four seniors, a couple sophomores, and I believe one junior in there for Hackett. They're somewhat young too, with about seven sophomores of their own, a few junior or a few seniors, a couple, three seniors, and a couple junior or well about. Not a couple juniors, about seven juniors or so. Wow. Two somewhat young teams going at it. Hackett's victorious. Their height and their power was too much for Episcopal Collegiate. But like I said, watch out for the Lady Wildcats for years to come, being so young. All right, they put 53 minutes up on the board. That'll be how much time we got before we get started. As Baptist Prep will take on Paris as one of our two semifinal games is set for tomorrow afternoon between Hoxie and Hackett. Should be a great game. Ho or Hoxie was victorious in game one today over Atkins, 3-1. to one. As Atkins defeated Boonville to get to play today, and Hoxie shut out Mayflower 3-0. to zero. So we'll take the break here. Join us back at 4 o'clock as we'll bring you 
a battle of Lady Eagle squads in Baptist Prep in Paris. So for all of us here at the AAA Digital Network, courtesy or compliments of Lake Area Sports, we'll see you back at 4 o'clock here for another exciting matchup in this Class 3A State Volleyball Tournament live from Harding Academy. We'll see you at 4. Everyone have a good rest of the day, and we'll see you then.